Welcome back. In this video, I'll teach you everything that you need to know about the second degree of heart block, MOBIDS 2. Unlike MOBIDS 1 and the first degree of heart block, this condition is very, very important for exam makers. If you are about to take any medical exam that includes the heart rate or the ECG findings, they will most likely include this condition. It is common and very important to recognize. In the ECG, you will see a normal pattern everywhere in the ECG with identical QRS complexes, identical P waves, and everything looks fine. Except that there are some leads here and there that shows a complete drop of the QRS complex, meaning that the heart suddenly stops contracting for a brief moment and this causes the drop of the QRS complex. This happens randomly and there are no preceding events in the ECG. So just random complete drops of the QRS complex. And this can be tricky to diagnose, especially if you don't have a long enough strip of ECG. As the QRS drops can be infrequent, and if your ECG is too short, you might miss them. The most common causes are heart diseases that affect the electrical pattern. So I think coronary artery diseases and myocardial infarctions, and this should be at the top of your differential diagnosis. Some medications that slow down the heart like beta blockers or calcium channel blockers and any heart condition or disease that affects the heart's electricity. The symptoms wouldn't provide much help as they are vague and non-specific. The patient will have weakness and generalized fatigue, dizziness and lightheadedness, which can be caused by a variety of different causes, syncope or near syncope cases, and chest pain or discomfort in some patients. The definitive treatment is a pacemaker this essentially overrides the cardiac electricity and causes the atria to contract first, followed by the ventricles. And it is very, very specific and will not miss any beats. Pacemakers can be either temporary or permanent. Of course, the definitive treatment is a permanent pacemaker, but this cannot be always installed very quickly. So we opt for a temporary pacemaker until we install the permanent one. Again, this condition is very, very important and you need to recognize it early to treat it early. Our ECG course contains all the changes that can occur in an ECG and it helps you become an ECG expert so that you can recognize any ECG that you might come across. The course contains everything that might affect an ECG, all the symptoms, the causes, and of course the treatments. It also has plenty of quizzes to test your knowledge and make sure that you cement these information and be able to answer any question about an ECG. You can access the course using the link in the description or in the pinned comment.